Did you know that hell is a state of consciousness that you choose right here on earth and even in the afterlife? That's how powerful that you are, my brother and sister. What you choose to believe you are going to experience even after you transition from that body of yours. Oh, yes. And the beginnings of hell in this plane is when you start to accept less than your ideal. When you start, when you start to, to, to be okay with missing the mark. You're okay with falling short of your objectives. And what is missing the mark? Missing the mark is sinning. Sinning. And it's mentioned in the Bible. Jesus mentions sinning all over the Bible. What is sinning? Sinning is not following your ideal. And what is your ideal? Your ideal is your true desires. And what are your true desires? Your true desires are the things that you love to do. Love is the only truth, you see? So when you are following your true desires, you are living in love. And when you live in love, you are living in heaven on earth. That is how you get out of the state of consciousness of hell, my brother and sister. You go from fear to love. Are you going to live out of fear or are you going to live out of love? It's your choice. And you have the choice to choose anything because you are God of your own reality. Yes, you are. Okay, listen. Most of you beautiful souls have been raised from a very early age. You've been programmed to believe it's okay. It's okay to miss the mark. It's okay to fall short of my objectives. It's okay. I accept it. I accept it. They may do it, but I'm not. Are you kidding? You are so powerful that those beautiful souls that you see in your world that are doing great things, you have built them up. Do you know how? Because they are you and you are them, first of all. But whatever you give your attention, if you are giving a celebrity attention, for example, they have no choice but to grow. Get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's how powerful that you are. Without you, they don't grow because they are in your world and this is your first-hand reality. Don't you get it? Don't you understand? You are God of your own reality. You are Christ incarnate. You are the Holy Son or Holy Daughter of God. You are meant to reign. You are a king or a queen, my brother and sister. That is how awesome and beautiful, powerful, wonderful that you are. And see, the Heavenly Father has gifted you the choice to be able to choose anything from His creation, any one of your true desires from His creation, to complete and do unbelievable things. The question is, are you going to do it? Are you going to complete? Are you going to complete the circuit? Are you going to do your true desires? And do you even know your true desires? If you don't know your true desires, you go to the Holy Spirit, for the Holy Spirit is within you. Everything is within you, my brother and sister. That's the power that you have. But you go to the Holy Spirit and you say, Holy Spirit, I don't know what my true desires are. Can you guide me? I need you. I allow you. I allow you, Holy Spirit, to guide me to my true desires every second of every day. Say that to the Holy Spirit and watch what happens. You will get your true desire. You'll feel it in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. And you'll know. And when you know, you know. Go act on it. You go act upon those true desires. That's called physical. That's called um, physically completing the circuit. When you act upon your true desires, that's physically completing the circuit. And then what happens is the Holy Spirit will guide you to the next step, and the next step, and the next step. And then you'll wake up a year, two years, three years from now, and you go, oh, I did that. I did that? What? And then you kind of come back down to earth and go, wait, I do nothing, but the Heavenly Father does everything through me.